guys how to make some delicious beef sliders. Okay, first thing you're gonna need, the beef. This one I'm using is a 73% lean, 27% fat, okay? You can use ground chuck if you want. This one is the best, okay? First thing you're gonna do is chop it in half because you're only gonna use about half of it, okay? Because you're gonna be using it with these. These are the Pepperidge Farm Sweet Hawaiian Slider Buns, okay? All right, so we're gonna cut this in half. Just like that, okay? And then set that one aside, okay? And then I have here some uh, wax paper. Okay, this is very important. Okay, you need this. Okay, first thing you're gonna do on a clean surface, you're gonna put your uh, wax paper down, okay? Opposite way so that it don't roll up on you. Okay, put that there. Then you're gonna take your half of your hamburger meat and put it on there, like that, okay? Whichever way you want. Maybe this will work better, okay? Then, you're gonna turn this over so we can flatten it out, okay? Turn that over like that. And you can just kind of pat it down with your hands first. And remember, you want this to be kind of the same shape as your buns, okay? All right, so now that you got your meat in here, you got your rolling pin, okay, if y'all wanna do it that way, you can. If you roll it towards yourself, okay? You're not gonna be pressing down too much. Just enough where you see that the meat is starting to roll out, okay? So remember, you want this to be kind of in a square. You can always trim it if you want. If you're a perfectionist, I guess, but you're just gonna try to get it as flat as you can get it, okay? Because when this is done, we're gonna put this in the freezer. Let it freeze for about 30 minutes before we actually cook the meat, okay? So just get it all nice and rolled out. I'm gonna say probably about a little less than a half an inch thick, okay? Okay, so our meat's out of the freezer. It's been about 30 minutes, okay? Now what you're gonna do is just clean up the meat a little bit, okay? Not too much. Okay, so you're just gonna fold it back here. Turn this out of the way, okay? And you can use a knife for this, meat cleaver, I'm using, whatever you have, just to clean up a little bit. You don't wanna cut too much off, okay? Because it is gonna shrink up some. Take this here, this piece, and you're gonna put it on your grill, okay? I've got my little electric skillet here that I like to use for stuff like this, okay? I'm gonna take this. If you wanna make it easier, you can either cut this, like I'm gonna do right now, just tear it off, okay? Grab it like so. Slap it on there, okay? And this here should peel off pretty easily, okay? And if it's overlapping the grill just a little bit, don't worry about it, okay? It's gonna cook, it'll all be in the pan. All right guys, so as you can see, it's starting to get all nice and cooked and we're getting ready to flip it here in just a little bit. We're just gonna let it cook a little bit longer on that side, okay? Because you want it to get that char. That's what gives it that flavor, okay? Alright guys, so now we're going to go ahead and try to flip this thing. And the way you're going to know that it needs to be flipped when you start to see it getting brown on all the edges and when you lift it up, you see that crusting on the other side? 
You're going to use two spatulas, okay? And be careful. And then right before you flip it, try to drain off some of that grease. Because the last thing you want is a good burn, okay? Put that out to drain. See that char that I was talking about, you guys? That's what you want to see. Okay? You're just going to let it finish cooking on this side, and then we're going to top it with the cheese, and then I'll show y'all the next step. Alright guys, so now that the burger is almost done, you're going to go ahead and add uh, cheese. I use the deli sliced cheese. I don't like to use the Kraft. I like to use the real deli sliced cheese because it's thinner. I just feel like it tastes better. So you're gonna use probably about four slices for this. Okay, you're just gonna lay that on top and let that melt. Okay, and while that's melting, we're gonna add in our, add our buns and let them get a little toast, toasted on there, okay? Let that cheese melt down. And what I've done is our buns that we are gonna use for these sliders, I just put mayo on them, okay? You just take a couple off like that, you're just going to lay them all across. Let them be that little toast. You're just going to let all this cook down until these get nice and toasted and this cheese is melted. And then we're going to put all this together. Alright guys, now that you have um, all your stuff on here, once you see that these have started to toast it, you're going to go ahead and take them off. It's easier if you use something that is it's pretty flat that you can just transfer from here to the plate, okay? Lay them out just like that. Alright guys, so now that we've toasted our buns, we took them off and we added some mayo, as you can see. Okay, these are the bottom buns. Our top ones are still there. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this and place this on top of these, okay? Get it. There we go. Bam, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna set those down right here as close as you can to your grill. Alright guys, so now we've already finished these, okay? These are just the regular ones. They've just got the cheese and the mayo. That's it. And I've got some homemade potato wedges here and some ketchup. Now I'm going to show you the other version that we do, okay? We did the same thing with this patty. I did the buns the same. We used the mayo to, to um, toast them. Now we're going to go ahead and add some more mayo and some bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? Okay, put a little mayo on all these. And by the way, I'm using, um, it's called uh, Mayonesa by McCormick. Y'all are wondering, okay? I'll have everything in the description below as well. All the different things I used. Okay? Now that you do that, you're going to come in with your bacon. I've got three uh, pieces of fresh bacon that I cooked, and then I just chopped them up, okay? You're just going to sprinkle all your little bacon bits on your little buns here, okay? Make sure you put a fair amount. And three pieces of bacon is plenty, okay? For all these little burgers here. Spread it out, make sure they all have a fair amount, okay? Once you've done that, you're gonna come in with some uh, shredded lettuce that I uh, chopped up. And this, all you're gonna do is place it on the patties, okay? But, you know, you can put more or less if you want. I'm just gonna put a fair amount for all of them. 
okay? Then, you don't have to worry about your bacon falling off, okay? Because you've already put the mayo, okay? So all you're gonna do is go ahead and top off your little burgers. You're gonna take whatever kind of chopper that you have, make sure that your buns on the bottom are aligned with the ones on the top so you don't cut through them, okay? And then you're just gonna put them in.